Hi, my name is Luke Zoller. Hi, my name is Grace Bradley. Hello, my name is Benjamin Payne. Hello, my name is Paisley Norris. Hello, my name is John Merrill Jr. Hi, my name is Anthony Koontz. Hi, my name is Thaddeus Tariq Shabazel Jr. My name is August. Hi, my name is Colin Rush. Hi, my name is Hadass Marcus. Well, I think the history really starts with the fact that just my mom loved kids. And one important piece of that was that um, the year before she died, I had the good fortune. I was in between um, years of college. And the year before she died, she had a funded program. She got uh, funding to do a program in the Cleveland schools working with first and second graders. And I had the good fortune, um, because she was uh, struggling with cancer, uh, to work with her. So I took off, quote, a year and worked with her in the Cleveland schools. And she did a, um, it was using uh, the social studies curriculum and doing basically creative drama with the students. And that was really her love. She was uh, trained as a teacher. She was also a director and an actor and, um, you know, a mom and, and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, but that was her love. So I think after she died in 1977, um, my dad, there, there was always free theater at the end of the season at Dobama. In any case, my dad and other people with the theater, uh, in particular Ray and Jane Ernest and Glenn and Joan Burkle, sort of um, together with my dad, uh, set upon the idea of doing a playwriting festival where kids got to write and then kids got to participate and kids got to see their work produced. So it was all about the creation. It was all about making something. My dad used to say, make things, don't break things. Um, <laughs> but Ray Ernest was a great friend of my mom in particular. And um, he, after my mom died, he was in London. And he saw, and I don't remember which theater it was, but he saw that there was a playwriting festival um, in, for, for children in London. And so my understanding is that he was very excited and he, he you know, ended up calling my dad and, and then with you know, Glenn and Joan Burkle also, um, my dad basically said, that's it, that's what we're doing. And so free theater, free, excuse me, free theater at the end of the Dobama theater season every year became the Maryland Bianchi Kids Playwriting Festival. So starting at the beginning of the school year, we start sending out information to teachers about the next year's festival, hoping that the teachers will include it in their curriculum. The deadline for submissions is uh, March 1st. Uh, in between September and March, we are going out and doing outreaches in schools. Uh, we are out beating the bushes, encouraging homeschoolers and contacting parochial, private, and public schools. Um, and then as soon as those plays start coming in, they all have to be processed. It's a blind submission process, so the child's name has to be removed. That Each play is given a number. Uh, each grade um, is separated out and put into packets. Every play is read by at least three readers. So we have quite a large cotillion of readers every year. And uh, you know what, what we grade on or what we're judging on is not punctuation. It is not uh, spelling. Uh, it is not how the play is formatted. It's what the play is saying, what is the heart of the play. And then once everything is scored, uh, then we contact the winners and we have to find directors for each play, and we have to start producing. So, I mean, from April 1st through June 1st, uh, we are busy, busy, busy producing the plays. And then it starts all over again. Specifically working with the Maryland Bianchi Kids Playwriting Festival has been really exciting because it's a very unique program uh, that allows kids to have a voice within their community. I think too often people look down on kids and feel like what they have to say doesn't matter. And I think this is an opportunity for us to say, no, please, uh, tell me what you think. Share your ideas with me. 
um, because it does matter, and you matter, and what you say matters to us. So Kids Fest is a full theatrical experience, not only for the children who participate as actors and the adults who participate as actors, but also for the playwrights. Uh, the directors talk directly to the playwrights. The playwrights are invited to rehearsals so they can see the process. The playwrights have the option of saying, I would like to change something. The playwrights have the option of saying, I don't want to change anything. Um, but it creates that dialogue between the playwright and the director, so the child l learns what a collaborative, cre uh, creative theatrical experience really is all about. So I think that every year there has been um, a play that has, in a very literal sense, been that child's story. And it could be a story that's just told straight out. It could be that the story is told in a more poetic, metaphorical way. But it's that child's story. It's that what is happening to that child in their life right at this time. And for that child to be able to tell their own story and to be heard is, is not only a very powerful experience for the child, but it's a very moving experience for me. And every, every year I have a moment uh, where when I learn who that child is, who that playwright is behind the words, that always clicks in and makes me say, that's why I do this. Um, because it can be such um, a life-changing and life-affirming experience for that child. When I look back and think about uh, growing up and where I come from, theater education totally changed my life. I remember being bored in school and feeling like I didn't have a lot of friends, and then I just met this community of people um, who had things in common with me and who I felt like I could be a part of a community with. And I learned how to express myself and um, I don't know, I just, uh, I think my heart grew bigger from being in the arts. So the majority of people involved in Kids Fest are volunteers. All the actors are volunteers, all the directors are volunteers, several of the technical people have been volunteering their services to the Kids Fest for many, many years. Uh, part of our mission statement for the Kids Fest is to create a sense of community during the time that Kids Fest is produced. And that's really important so that not only does, is Kids Fest a place where students have a voice, but Kids Fest, when it's being produced, is a place where people can feel at home, where there are many people who have come back year after year after year uh, who may not participate in any other theatrical experience during the year, but it's a home here. It's a very a warm and safe and loving place. I think it's going to be amazing just seeing like all of the lines that I wrote being said and all of like the stage directions actually happening and I think it'll just be a fun experience. I like being a playwright because it's interesting to be able to take every little voice from inside your head and name it as a person. Uh, it's best to make like a very complex character and in real life you are a complex character but you can also split yourself in halves and have people representing everything. It's really fun. I feel like a real writer because I mean, I don't write a lot, so it was kind of a big thing. Yeah, it was really cool. I just thought when, when the actors were acting, I thought just this little play can go in such a big action play. It was really awesome. Uh, I get to see my work uh, come to life and um... I've never seen that before, although I do have a vivid imagination, but yeah, it's very exciting that I get to see it come to life. The arts programs don't just help people find themselves, they help people be comfortable being themselves, and they allow someone a different way of looking at the world. If you sit in classroom, I'm not a math or science person, and if I didn't have playwriting class or an ceramics class or ensemble to get through the day, I probably wouldn't show up to school. Come be a part of the festival. 
You know, um, the theater is wonderful here, and an integral part of it is the Marilyn Bianchi Kids Playwriting Festival. It's built on love and respect, and that is a hallmark from my parents, and we need that more than ever right now. Um, and every year, when my dad would introduce the festival, he would say, and now, with love and respect, the first, second, third, fourth, et cetera, et cetera, and now we're at 38, uh, Marilyn Bianchi Kids Playwriting Festival. So come join and see how you can be a part of it. Maybe your kid can write. Maybe your child can be part of the crew. Maybe you can come and read the plays that get submitted. Maybe you can um, energize your community, your school, religious community, uh, local, whatever community you're in, to be a part of something um, that exists after all these years and will exist in the future.